Good morning, Jamie here from uh, FitStrong Personal Training, actually sitting in FitStrong Personal Training. Uh, my gym floor seconds as a office space uh, when I'm not doing sessions. Um, quickly want to run by you the definition of what we call working out and, uh, and training. Um, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with either of them, but let's differentiate between the two concepts when it comes to training, uh, when it comes to you choosing what you're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So working out, you just walk out in the gym um, or your place of training and you just do whatever comes to mind. You fancy doing bicep curls and push-ups and you do that for a random number of sets and reps. Um, nothing wrong with that, just working out. Uh, you might come out and you might do a bit of rowing on the rowing machine um, and a quick jog up and down the street and, uh, and some planks. That's it. Working out is, is just that. It's quite random. You come out and you do what you feel like doing. You just turn up, you do some stuff, you work at any any level of exertion that you feel like doing in that given day. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Unless, of course, you spend too much time doing things you want to do and not the things you know you need to do. Uh, and let's be honest, when we do train, the bigger picture is that we're training for the long term. We're not training for how we're going to look and weigh uh, next week or next month or even the end of this year. Um, we're looking for the long term. 45 years of age, I'm training to be um, full of life until my dying day. I want to thrive and die mighty um, until my, my, my very last final day. Um, I don't want to spend my last 10, 15 years in aged care uh, where I regret not doing all those training sessions and workouts during the years. I want to thrive. Um, I'm making that point quite clear these days. Um, training, whereas workout is just randomised, doing things that you feel you want to do, uh, training is strategic. Uh, it's a training programme. If you go on a training course with work, um, there's a clear objective. You start at point A, you're going to finish at point B. That's what training is. If you're following an eight week training program, you're starting from where you start, you meet your body where it is, and through a particular plan of progression, you, you get better at those, those qualities, those skills, those strengths, those fitness points. Um, so a training program can be for anything. Um, it's best taking just one thing at a time and working, getting better at that. Whether that's uh, getting more powerful, working on your speed, adding some muscle mass, working on some functional strength. Whatever your goal is, um, it should be purposeful and should ideally meet what your body needs. Um, in terms of contents of a program, excuse the truck going by, uh, you always need to have a press, a pull, some kind of deep knee bend, like a squat or a lunge, uh, hip hinging, kettlebell swing, deadlift, whatever. Um, where's the truck to go by? The joys of live recording. Um, and bracing your midsection and carrying stuff. When it comes to strength, there are things you need to do. You also need to work on your mobility, your flexibility. Uh, you need to get some aerobic work. Go out and do some cardio for a general term. Um, if you're doing a training program, all those things have to be laid out strategically. You've got to look at increasing uh, in a waving kind of format up and down the, the volume and the intensity. Um, you can do that through various uh, means that I'm not going to go into um, on this little blog. So training is getting you from point A to point B for your particular goal, for what you want to work at or what you need to work at. We've always got to consider what do we need to work at to add to our lives right here and right now. Uh, if you're training for a Spartan race in 10 weeks time, well, obviously there's a very clear and defined way you're going to write your training program or have your training program written for you. Um, if you're training for general well-being and health, there's lots of things you can do. Uh, again, I'm not going to talk about that here. So working out is random, doing what you want to do. It's just fun stuff um, and training is very specific. Over the course of the year, you can vary or, or segment your year into blocks of just working out and then blocks of time where you're following a defined training program. Here at the minute, leading up to Christmas, we are on a spring training program. It's spring here in Australia. Um, so we are working on different kind of squat techniques uh, and squatting variations to keep our hips and our ankles and our knees healthy. We're not loading those squats terribly heavy. Uh, we are working quite hard our clean and our press program. Uh, we're doing that for a 10 to 15 minute block. Um, really working on the power of the clean of the kettlebells and pressing uh, those kettlebells. Then we have a little inclusion of some um, ab training movements, some specific arm movements, uh, getting those triceps ready for the summer. Um, and we're finishing most sessions with uh, a kettlebell swing uh, program. Those who can't do kettlebell swings are doing sled pulls or something else that's going to get their 
pulse rate up to a particular level. That's what we're doing. Um, if you need help with putting together your own um, pre-Christmas training programme, do let me know, happy to help. Um, but keep in mind that over the course of the year, you should be um, building in some specific training programmes and for the rest of the time, just working out. Go just tick boxes for all the things that you enjoy doing and some things you need to be doing. That's five and a half minutes. That's enough chatting for today. Um, any questions or comments, get back to me. Thanks for watching.